the intermolecular forces of attraction, in liquids, and solids. The forces of attraction in molecules are in two types. The intramolecular forces, found within molecules, such as covalent, or ionic, it forms very strong bonds. And the intermolecular forces, that acts between molecules, such as London dispersion forces, dipole-dipole, or hydrogen bonding, they form relatively weaker bonds. To illustrate, here is the intramolecular forces, within molecules. And here is the intermolecular forces, between molecules. Also, the strong covalent bond, in the hydrogen chloride molecule, needs 431 kJ per mole to break. While, the dipole-dipole will break at only 16 kJ per mole of energy. These intermolecular forces are strong enough to control physical properties, such as boiling and melting points, vapor pressures, and viscosities. As a group, they are referred to as van der Waals forces. There are several types of intermolecular forces, these are London dispersion forces, dipole-dipole, hydrogen bond, or H-bond, and ion-dipole interactions. London dispersion forces, or simply dispersion forces, are attractions between an instantaneous dipole and an induced dipole. Instantaneous dipoles are due to the random movement of electrons. In an instant, it forms a temporary dipole, at that instant, then, the helium atom is polar, with an excess of electrons on the left side, and a shortage on the right side. A nearby helium, would have a dipole induced in it, the electrons on the left side of helium atom 2 repel the electrons in the cloud on helium atom 1. The formation of temporary dipoles, on both helium atoms causes electrostatic attractions, between the negative electrons on one helium atom, with the positive nucleus of the other helium atom. These dispersion forces are present in all molecules, whether they are polar or nonpolar, also, this is the only intermolecular force present between nonpolar molecules. Polarizability is the ability of an atom or molecule to have an instantaneous dipole. In general, bigger molecules are easier to polarize. Larger atoms have larger electron clouds, which are easier to polarize. Thus, the strength of dispersion forces tends to increase with increased molecular weight. In the table, the strength and force of attraction can be seen in their higher boiling point. The shape of the molecule, affects the strength of dispersion forces. Long, skinny molecules tend to have stronger dispersion forces, than short, fat ones, this is due to the increased surface area of attraction. This effect of molecular shape, can be observed in higher boiling point of n-pentane, compared to neopentane. Linear, straight molecular structure have higher boiling points, than those rounded ones of similar molecular weight. Dipole-dipole interaction, happens on molecules that have permanent dipoles, the positive end of one, is attracted to the negative end of the other, and vice versa, thus, these forces are found in polar molecules only. Also, the dipole-dipole interaction between polar molecules, is stronger than London dispersion forces.
The general trend is, the higher the dipole moment, or the more polar the molecule, the higher will be its boiling point. So far we found that, for molecules with comparable size, and shape, dipole-dipole dominates. But if one is much larger, dispersion forces would determine the physical properties of the molecule. Hydrogen bonding, or H-bonds, are special dipole-dipole interactions, experienced when hydrogen is bonded, to nitrogen, oxygen, or fluene. They are unusually very strong. The unexpectedly high boiling points of methane, ammonia, hydrogen fluoride, and water is due to the presence of hydrogen bonds. Hydrogen bonding arises in part from the high electronegativity of nitrogen, oxygen, and fluorine atoms in these molecules. A fourth type of force, ion dipole interactions, are an important force in solutions of ions. The strength of these forces makes it possible for ionic substances to dissolve in polar solvents. This is how the polar solvent, such as water, separates the ions of the ionic compound and dissolves it. The effects of intermolecular forces on the physical properties of molecules. Boiling point is the temperature at which vapor pressure is equal to the atmospheric pressure. We can see here that acetic acid with more dipole-dipole interactions has higher boiling point than one propanol. Thus, stronger intermolecular forces results to higher boiling point of the molecule. Viscosity is the resistance of a liquid to flow. In general, the stronger the intermolecular force, the higher its viscosity. The longer the carbon chain, the stronger the dispersion forces, results to higher viscosity. In here, the longer decane molecule has greater viscosity than the shorter hexane molecule. Surface tension, results from the net inward force, experienced by the molecules, on the surface of a liquid. In general, the higher intermolecular force, the greater surface tension of the molecule. In solid molecules, greater intermolecular forces of attraction, results to higher melting points. In general, the crystalline form, has relatively higher melting point, than the amorphous form. In summary, higher intermolecular forces results to higher boiling points and melting points, more viscosity, and greater surface tension in the molecules. <laughs>